You can find just about anything online these days, including a place to live. But before you drop a deposit on what seems like your dream digs, do your homework because your rental could be a ripoff. Corey Mayville is very frustrated. On a scale from 1 to 10? Uh, definitely an 11. <laughs> it's not a 10, it's an 11 for sure. That's because he got scammed while searching for an apartment. I was originally looking to rent a one bedroom, one bath in this town. He found what appeared to be a great place, $620 a month for a downtown dog friendly pad with two parking spaces. Corey did a bit of background check on the owner, a man named Anthony Thomas Hall, and was convinced this deal was legit. I looked on his HomeAway app, like he had five star reviews from two different people. You know, he sent me a copy of his passport photo. To secure the lease, Corey paid the security deposit with Bitcoin, the digital currency that is not controlled by a bank. I deposited $800 into this Bitcoin ATM and I never got another contact from him whatsoever. Corey says his uneasy feeling didn't start until he realized that Anthony Thomas Hall had somehow avoided giving Corey his phone number and then he stopped returning Corey's emails. It was five days later that Corey came downtown to see that his one bedroom apartment was actually a school building that's about to be torn down. See the place in person before you rent it. Even if it's in a different city, you got to really protect yourself. Steve Baker, chief investigator for the Better Business Bureau, says rental ripoffs are one of the nation's most prevalent scams. But he says there are ways to avoid being taken. Do some internet research and be careful how you pay. No legitimate business takes payment through Western Union MoneyGram, Bitcoin, or um, gift cards. They just don't. It's not right at all. <laughs> yeah. And you know, I work hard for my money and just have somebody steal it from me is really the worst part. Yeah. That is disheartening. And even though Corey admits he overlooked some red flags, I still felt pretty bad for him. Corey, what would you say if I told you Inside Investigations is going to make it right for you and we're going to give you your money back? Oh, wow, really? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. That really helps out a whole lot. It's nice to be nice to the nice.